What's going on guys? Night the Opera, we're on to Love of My Life. One of Queen's most covered songs. Really? Okay, so that makes me wonder if I've heard it before. There have been versions by many acts like Extreme featuring May, Scorpions, and Elaine Page. Mercury played piano including a classical solo and sang all vocals including multi-tracked harmonies. May played harp doing it chord by chord and pasting the takes to form the entire part. Jeez. Gibson Hummingbird acoustic guitar, which he had bought in Japan as Red Special, may eventually arrange the song so it could be played on acoustic 12 string for live performances. Love of My Life was such a concert favorite that Mercury frequently stopped singing and allowed the audience to take over. It was especially well received during concerts in South America, and the band released the song as a single there. When Queen and Paul Rogers performed the song, specifically Brian's solo, he sang almost none of the words and let the audience sing it all, continuing the tradition. When Queen and Adam Lambert performed it, Brian would play along to a projection of Freddie singing. When they performed with Paul Rogers during 2004 to 2008, Mercury was also projected during the show, but not in a round display as they used with Adam Lambert. Okay, this is interesting. A Night at the Opera was not reviewed by the majority of the UK music magazines when it came out because the band was remixing the album until the last moment, and consequently no preview discs were sent out to the media before the album was officially released. That's probably a good thing. I mean, you know. In Record, Mirror, and Disc, Ray Fox Cumming attempted to review the album based on a single lis listening at the playback party held for the press, which he admitted isn't really enough to form a proper critical opinion. Oof, what am I doing on this channel? <laughs> However, he described his first impressions of an amazing rush of music with one track running helter-skelter into the next. The orchestral effects, all done by voices, are dazzling, but come and go too quickly to appreciate on a solo listening okay uh, okay I don't know if I'd say that but alright Fox coming stated that the album had three highlights death on two legs the prophet song and Bohemian Rhapsody Wow not even you're my best friend really 39 yo what and only one bad track, Sweet Lady. Sweet Lady was not a bad track. Sweet Lady is not a bad track. It's not. It's totally not. He, it's not the same as the others, but it's not a bad track. It's totally not. He concluded that as a whole, A Night at the Opera is faster, flashier, and more complex than Sheer Heart Attack, but they haven't gone over the top. Phil Sutcliffe of Sounds reviewed the album from a cassette copy and gave it a five-star review. You can feel the colossal effort that went into every second of this long album. And yet there's uh, hardly a moment when I would criticize it for being contrived or overproduced. Interesting. He singled out Bohemian Rhapsody and The Prophet Song as the two tracks that make a good album extraordinary. Okay. Despite stating that the latter song's lyrics were not appealing and overall highlighting the album's musical range power and consistently incisive lyrics. Cool. All right, let's get to this song. Love of My Life. Wow. Can't, Sweet Lady is not a throwaway track. You guys are joking yourselves. It's like an album cut. You know, like it's, it's, it's not a single, but it's, it's not filler. You know, that's what I'm saying. It's not, it's not a filler track. The car song is a filler track, if you ask me. If there is gonna be one. Anyways, all right, let's do this. Love of my life. Bam. Love of my 
my life Don't leave me You've taken my love You now desert me Love of my life Can't you see guitar he just always sounds great really it's obviously something about that guitar that's heard this song before that was nice it was nice yeah it was it was nice it was it was really nice the piano i always love the mix of freddie's piano playing and john deacon's bass playing just tonally it, his tone is perfect for it it's just perfect for it it's warm it's round it's full you know it's not it, it's it's nice. It's it's the perfect tone for it. it. Just sounds great. Blends. It's just really nice. Very uh, complimenting. Love it. And yeah, Brian Brian May's guitar sounds awesome. Like his guitar just always sounds awesome. That there's obviously some magic, some magic <laughs> going on with that thing because it just it sounds awesome. It's really cool. All right. I mean, this is a nice song. Nice little song, you know, like ballady song. Cool, all right, good company. It's up next. I'll catch you then. <laughs> 